so this is the overview for uh, workshop 9 I'm gonna just pre prepare things up and we're gonna start uh, looking at workshop 9 and see what it is all right workshop 9 so for workshop 9 you are creating a couple of classes one class is called text which uh, reads the contents of a text file and uh, uh, dynamically allocates memory for it and reads the whole thing into memory and it can display it on a screen and then you're gonna create an HTML text which is a text that has a title and uh, insert the inserts the uh, the HTML version of what it keeps in the text so the text is kept uh, inside memory and uh, with uh, HTML text it prints a regular text into and converts it into HTML um, are, are we okay with our objective do we do we understand what we want to do okay so now that we have this so let's uh, pa, 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 pa. make it like this there we go so same thing all the stuff that we have with the workshops it's all there let me just oh I just noticed that this workshops beginning is not right let me just set it up so it is set properly I'm gonna pause all right so so the text class so it it gets created uh, uh, with a default constructor and sets the class to an empty state so that's what we have uh, it has uh, uh, an attribute that is a character pointer and it uh, uh, that keeps the contents of the class it has uh, an index operator overloaded um, that is accessible only uh, to its derived classes so it's not public but it's accessible to the derived classes which you know it means it's protected and uh, uh, the rule of three is set up for it so it can be copied and uh, um, assigned uh, and and it and if it when it goes off the uh, the system it's not going to uh, if it goes off off the scope it's not going to leak any memory and uh, uh, it has a read uh, uh, read and write uh, the normal read and write that you're going to do um, so it's uh, the, what read does it first it deallocates the content it's the usual thing then allocates memory to the size of the file on a hard disk how to get the size of the file on a hard disk the code is given below I'll show it to you so you get the, the, the size of the uh, file on a hard disk you add one to it for the null byte then you read everything character by character or as a whole or however, however you want to do it I don't care you read everything into uh, that uh, piece of memory uh, if the data is is uh, is read it means uh, the data is read successfully uh, you will clear the state of ice stream object uh, otherwise you would leave it as as is so when I say clear because when you're actually reading you're gonna uh, it's gonna actually uh, uh, yeah but anyways you clear it and then you get it so let me just um, explain uh, exactly how you're doing it so for read yeah so for you for read you uh, be, with that read you are reading from iStream because iStream using virtual functions is going to virtual functions of uh, virtual func virtual functions of uh, uh, IF stream is going to eventually read this thing from the from the hard drive that's why you have to clear it at the end because it's going to fail at the end anyway it's going to actually hit the uh, it's going to hit the end of the file and it's going to fail uh, so uh, you have to just make sure that something is read if it doesn't read anything it means the file wasn't opened properly or something so you leave it as is. so you, sh you should check to see if something was read successfully and if it was at least one character uh, if it was then uh, you you set it up other, um, you may clear it otherwise you're gonna 
uh, leave it as uh, fail for write what you are doing is uh, uh, quite simple you simply write the content into the into the file that's it simple straightforward uh, there's uh, it's just a string and you're writing the whole string into the into the file that's the right you're gonna have helper functions created which is uh, insertion and extraction you have done it 55,000 times you know exactly what it is so uh, for the usage example for example if the file.txt has a b c and a new line on a dfg um, um, what happens is that you should be able to instantiate the file do test that is the name of the file and extract the values into t that is text you can set y to t z to t so all the copy construction and assignment operation and if you do a c out this is how it's going to get printed and that's how your text file is going to work are we okay with this all right Wayne D David all right anyways so <coughs> get file length get file length I gave it to you it, it is beyond the knowledge of uh, OOP244 but this is what I gave you so you see it retains an unsigned integer because size of a file is an unsigned integer it, it will be const because it's not going to change the content of uh, oh actually I gotta fix this there you go <laughs> I just realized that I that I gave you the content of my utils which is here and there you go so it's not in utils so that's fixed so there you go <coughs> so unsigned file length so it returns an unsigned and I'm gonna have a length that is empty then I'm gonna say if I uh, I stream is in a safe empty state I'm gonna say uh, what is the current position in the file whatever it is I keep it so I keep the file position where it's supposed to be read in a in a, 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 a position variable then I'm gonna say go to the end of the file so I'm gonna go from the end of the file go zero bytes further so it's gonna go right to the end of the file I'm gonna say now tell me where you are the location at the end of the file is essentially the length of the file and then I'm gonna say go back where you were before and return the length so this get line simply tells you what is the length of a file in bytes um, you don't need to understand it just use it mm. Peter, Should, you should it not be const? I'm me? sorry? Shouldn't it be constant if this is like a member function? Because it's just if returning you make like it a the member length? function make it a const This yeah. is not a member oh. function Oh, this okay. Just it's like... Just like... oh okay, gotcha cool. Yeah, but if you, of course, if you put it in your utils then it should be a const, of course Okay, thank you Yeah So so as I said, you can either add this to a method or a text class, add a utility method, utilities class, if you are using the utils in yada yada. So you can add it if you want. Now, what is an HTML text? An HTML text is essentially uh, um, uh, a class uh, that uh, it's, a, it's uh, a text class with a title. So it has a title too. Okay, so it has a title property that holds what what is the title of the HTML, and uh, it uh, uh, it has a uh, right that overrides the right of the uh, of the uh, HTML class, but it does not do anything with read. So reading is always the same, but write is different. So what the write does in the HTML. Uh, the HTML text it's quite simple so you character first of all you're gonna print the, the HTML tag at the top so so it um, so you you do the open tags for an HTML page you've done it already in uh, you you have taken an HTML course you know what an HTML tag is right body tag and all those stuff right yeah so good so what you do you open an HTML tag you open a head tag you open a title tag and you put the title of the HTML inside 
okay so open tags uh, for HTML page header and title are inserted and will um, and with the open body tag then for all the content of the file you will do this so so the title you're gonna put it at the top and you're gonna so you open HTML you open head you open title then if title exists you're gonna put the title if the title is uh, empty or null you put no title and then you close the title tag close the head tag and open the body tag to do the HTML okay then if the title exists, you insert the title at the beginning using H1 tag. So using H1 tag, you are going to insert the title again in the body of the HTML. Then you're going to go through uh, the. Then you're going to go through the um, content of the file. So what you do is this. So at any place so one by one you're going to go through it when write is happening at any place you see a less than operator you change it to ampersand lt semicolon if you see a greater than operator you do it to ampersand gt semicolon if there is a new line you change it to br slash and backslash n if there is a space more than one so you have to count if the space is one you don't do anything but if space becomes two the first one remains what it is and the rest will change with non-breakable space so ampersand nbsp semicolon at the end you close the tag uh, for body and html and uh, and then you're done okay so again i explained to accomplish the up what you do so i i explained exactly what i explained to you one by one and uh, I wrote a pseudocode over here. I have no idea why I did that, but there's a pseudocode over here for you to go through it. And uh, that's that. Uh, and the tester program tests exactly that. So when you run your program, the output of the program will essentially show you this, as you see over here, which is um, exactly the source of the... Uh, this is exactly the source of uh, the classes with resources uh, note on the uh, on the op244 website that it gets it as a text and then it converts it to an html so so as you see it's like that and when the conversion comes out it's going to be like this um, yeah so body classes and resources and goes body h drive like that and then goes through everything so it essentially converts a text into an html text um, you can actually save that one. I, I think it actually saves it on the file too when you execute it. Let me see. Yeah, so it actually writes that one. So when you actually uh, double click on that, it's going to show you the, the HTML version of it. So you'll see that it actually converted it properly. Um, and that's workshop nine. Any questions? All right. No questions. Perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, so no questions. And that's workshop nine. And it's uh, um, uh, an interesting workshop. So uh, uh, enjoy it. And uh, let me know uh, if there is any questions. So I'm going to stop this.